Making a mistake at work isn't usually a huge problem. Maybe you messed up a customer's order, or you forgot to input something into a spreadsheet. Chances are, it was easy to fix. However, there are some instances where a mistake ended up costing billions of dollars to fix. From the Piper Alpha oil rig disaster to the Hanshin Expressway collapse, here are five of the most expensive fails in history. The Piper Alpha was an oil platform set up in the North Sea, about 120 miles away from the coast of Aberdeen, Scotland. It initially began production in 1976 as an oil-only platform, but over time, gas production was added to its uses. In 1988, disaster unfolded as a simple mistake led to the structure's untimely demise. On July 6, 1988, a pump's pressure safety valve was removed for regular maintenance. It was temporarily sealed with a disc cover, and there were instructions made that stated not to switch the pump on under any circumstances. One shift ended, and another began. Somehow, the instructions disappeared, and since the on-duty custodian was busy, no one was informed about the condition of that pump. Eventually, the pump was turned on, resulting in an explosion. The overpressure was too strong for the temporary metal disc to withstand, and gas audibly began leaking out at an incredibly high pressure. Gas fires broke out, with 167 men losing their lives. The total cost of the disaster is estimated to be around 1.7 billion euros, making this one of the most expensive man-made catastrophes ever. An inquiry immediately began to look into the cause of the disaster to try to avoid another catastrophe like it again. A memorial depicting three oil workers was erected in the Rose Garden at Hazelhead Park in Aberdeen. It's a heart-wrenching story, and one that could have been avoided with proper communication between the two shifts. On January 17, 1995, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake struck the city of Kobe, Japan. The earthquake only lasted for about 20 seconds, but that was all it needed to devastate a city, requiring decades of repairs. While numerous buildings were destroyed, one of the most substantial damages to occur was to the Hanshin Expressway. This structure was the main transportation route between Kobe and Osaka. While the structure should have ordinarily survived such a quake, research that went on after the quake found that the expressway had an inadequate structural design. This stemmed from insufficient and prematurely terminated longitudinal reinforcement, insufficient shear capacity, and inadequate hoop anchorage. The collapse of this structure made headlines all over the globe. Many people were caught off guard, believing such expressways to be safe. Ten spans of the expressway ended up getting knocked over. It took over a year for the structure to be rebuilt, and it officially reopened on September 30, 1996. The estimated total repair cost to get the Hanshin Expressway back up and running was $4.6 billion. It ended up only being a small fraction of the total cost the earthquake caused. When looking at the damage caused as a whole, some estimates put the repairs at $200 billion. But expressways can be rebuilt. The 6,434 individuals who lost their lives, nearly 4,600 of them in Kobe alone, can never come back. But the region was resilient. For the three months following the earthquake, 1.2 million people volunteered as part of the relief efforts. In November of 2002, the oil tanker MV Prestige was carrying 77,000 tons of heavy fuel oil in the sea when things took an unexpected turn. The 26-year-old vessel got caught up in a storm, and it burst the tank on November 13th off the coast of Galicia, Spain. The vessel tried to dock to try and mitigate some of the damage, but the Spanish, French, and Portuguese governments all refused. On November 19th, the vessel sank completely, about 130 miles off the coast. In total, it's estimated that it spilled 17.8 million gallons of oil into the sea. This ended up polluting thousands of miles of coastline, 
and over 1,000 beaches on the Spanish, French, and Portuguese coast ended up suffering. It became the largest environmental disaster in the history of Spain and Portugal with the amount of heavy fuel oil exceeding that of the Exxon Valdez incident. In 2013, a court ruling came down that put the overall cost of the disaster at 368 million euros, which comes out to about 494 million US dollars. Following the disaster, the captain of the vessel was arrested. However, in 2013, three high court judges found that it was impossible to create any kind of criminal responsibility for anyone on board the ship at the time of the disaster. The captain was, however, found guilty of disobeying government authorities who wanted him to take the tanker as far away from the coast as possible. At 78 years old, the captain was given a nine-month suspended sentence. After an investigation, it was determined that the vessel was structurally deficient and should never have been out to sea in the first place. Lake Pannier was a lake located in Louisiana. It had a maximum depth of 200 feet, making it the deepest lake in the entire state. For many years, it was a popular destination for sportsmen until one fateful day in November 1980. On that day, an exploratory drilling company that operated on the lake accidentally drilled into a salt mine owned by the Diamond Crystal Salt Company. It wasn't long until the entire mine started to fill with water. The ensuing sinkhole swallowed the entire drilling platform, including 11 barges that were holding supplies for the drilling operation. It also took with it numerous trees, 65 acres of local terrain, and a tugboat. So much water was removed from the lake bed that the flow of the Del Cambre Canal was reversed. This caused salt water from the Gulf of Mexico to instead flow into what used to be a dry lake bed. Fortunately, all 55 employees who were in the mine at the time of the disaster were able to get out safely. No human lives were lost. In the aftermath of the sinkhole, Texaco and the drilling contractor Wilson Brothers had to pay $32 million to Diamond Crystal. They also had to pay an additional $12.8 million to a nearby plant nursery and botanical garden for out-of-court settlements to compensate for damage the sinkhole caused. In addition to the costs, the event also permanently impacted the local ecosystem. It changed the lake from freshwater to saltwater. It also increased the overall depth at the deepest point of the lake. One of the most famous man-made disasters in history occurred on Saturday, April 26, 1986. On this day, a safety test was being performed on the RBMK-type nuclear reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat. The test was supposed to provide a simulation of an electrical power outage to help with the formation of a safety procedure on how to maintain reactor cooling water circulation until the backup generators could offer power. During this test, there was a gap of roughly one minute that caused the nuclear reactor core to overheat. It was expected that the residual rotational energy of the turbine generator would offer sufficient power to cover this lapse. The power unexpectedly dropped to a near-zero level. Operators could only restore partial test power, which put the reactor in an unstable condition. At the time, the operators didn't know of the risk, so they continued with the test. Once the test finished, the operators triggered a reactor shutdown. A combination of design flaws as well as the unstable conditions resulted in a nuclear chain reaction. Roughly 49,000 individuals had to be evacuated from the area, most of them from the nearby town of Pripyat. The exclusion zone had to be expanded, which resulted in an additional 68,000 people being evacuated. Two members of the reactor operating staff were killed in the reactor explosion. 134 people had to be hospitalized due to acute radiation syndrome, and out of those people, 28 died in the days and months following the meltdown. An additional 14 suspected radiation-induced deaths from cancer followed in the next decade. The Chernobyl disaster remains the worst nuclear power plant accident to occur in history, both in terms of casualties and cost. The initial cost for the cleanup efforts were estimated to be at 18 billion Soviet rubles, which would be about 68 billion US dollars adjusted for inflation. 
and the costs are still ongoing. It's estimated that between 5 and 7 percent of government spending in Ukraine is still related to Chernobyl recovery activities. Much of these costs come down to the payments of social benefits to about 7 million people throughout Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. Are there any other man-made disasters you'd like to see us do a video about in the future? Let us know in the comments. Otherwise, be sure to click the link on screen to check out our video of the 5 worst man-made disasters in history. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.